Hi there, welcome to another Stella Art Session with Rian. In today's session, we will be painting a frog using Stella's watercolor pencils. Let's get croaking, uh, I mean painting. Get your drawing ready and put it on your drawing paper. We'll start by painting the frog a light green. Rian will start drawing light lines and then he will add darker shading. Rian will use yellow to highlight the frog's body. The yellow will give the green some extra warmth. He also applies the yellow to all of the parts that will require it. Here we add some orange to the mid-tone on the iris and the toes. Add some red to deepen the shades of the orange. Rian is now using a darker green to draw in the shades for the green. This will give the frog more dimension and add a little more colour variety. Time to add the blue. Rian starts with the light blue first and will add dark blue for shading a bit later.
Now we will do the fun bit by painting clean water over the drawing. Dip the brush in water and dab it on a tissue. We want the brush damp and not soaking wet. Start painting from the light areas towards the darker areas. It is easier to control the pigment from light to dark. Using the same technique and principles, we will draw the colours for the leaf. Rian uses a light green for the highlight areas, blue in areas where the sky reflects on the leaf and dark green for the darker part of the leaf. When you finish drawing the leaf, you can paint it using the same technique. Dip the brush in the clean water and paint over the leaf working from light to dark. You may need to use a little more water for bigger areas, but be careful not to have a soggy wet brush. Use tissue paper to control how wet the brush should be. We are going to add black to the darker shaded areas and shadows. The black will also be used to add small details like the pupil of the eye.
dip the brush in the water and start painting over the black that you have just drawn. Make sure to control the water on your brush. If it is too wet, the water will disperse the pigments to the edges of the puddle. If it is too dry, the pigment will soak up the water and create intense black areas. Add a few random beauty spots on the frog. We will attempt to give the background less detail and make it rather dark so the frog stands out better. For this process, you can fill the brush with a lot of water. Try to blend the colors so that it looks like the background is out of focus. We hope you enjoyed the session with us and see you in the next one. Happy painting!